right, hi everybody. I'm gonna do a quick little uh, tutorial for you guys um, on, um, now let me um, hide these uh, screens here because it's in my way there, um, on um, how to um, add makeup in Photoshop. So um, we'll start here. This is, uh, this is our original. Um, scroll that up, scroll that down there so you can kind of see it. So uh, we're gonna kind of take this from here to there. Now, just because of the uh, time constraints, um, I'm only gonna do like half of her face because, well, obviously it'd be the same on the other side. Um, and I'm gonna be using a lot of um, brush presets here that, uh, that actually I found online and, and you can find online um, numerous websites out there. They change all the time. So just go out there and search. You can find more brush presets than you can um, ever, ever use. So the first thing we're going to do is um, duplicate our layer here and um, do a little, just a quick uh, uh, skin softening. Um, and this is a technique I learned years ago from uh, Scott Kelby. Um, and um, it works just about as good as anything I have uh, ever come across. So what I'm doing here, I'm just using the patch tool, the patch from a... Um, area I don't like to an area that's well has less glare on it and things like that and uh, the, the nice thing about this you don't have to be real careful about what you do here because you're going to dial back the opacity and it just really tends to blend the other thing about having this as a um, second layer is it gives you the option to um, um, change the the amount of um, blending you you have so we'll just kind of keep going here for just a second and have kind of some of these areas cleaned out. And it looks really kind of weird when you first do it because it just looks really plastic. But uh, once you dial back the opacity, that's, uh, that's where the magic really comes in. So I'll get uh, just a few more little areas here. And, you know, it also works just for, uh, for uh, just terrific for, uh, Taking down shine too. Okay, we get that. Get some of that. Get one more little spot right there. There we go. Okay. All right, now we'll come over here to our uh, copy layer and we're just going to dial the opacity down to, well, normally I would take it down to 50%, but in this case, I'm going to leave it right around 60 since we're doing a little bit more of a, a glamour look. Uh, then I'll do a control alt shift E to basically uh, flatten up. Um, and then uh, we're going to start here with uh, working on her lips just a little bit. Yep, too much. All right, so there's a, a couple different ways to do the lips, but uh, I think one of the, the quickest ways I found is just to go in, make a selection right here, copy that to another layer, change the blend mode to multiply, take your erase, and you're just gonna, with a kind of a soft edge brush here, it's a little too soft, you're just gonna kind of, Erase that back there a little bit. Now she's got nice white teeth, so we don't have to really do anything to uh, the teeth in this in this uh, situation. And of course, using your, your bracket keys enlarge, allows you to um, enlarge and reduce the size of your brush. Okay. Let me get that right there. All right. Um, and then again, go back to your opacity and usually bring that down to around, yeah, depending upon, you know, everyone's going to be a little bit different, but. Um, Usually, in this case, around 50%. Um, it just gives a little bit more color to the lips without really 
changing or adding you know any anything to them all right so that's done so now we're going to move up to uh, working on the eyes here um, so um, before I uh, usually go into doing anything in the eyes I usually like to try and do uh, a little bit of a cleanup on the eyes because um, usually everyone has a little bit of redness to their eyes um, so I'll click on my brush tool now I have um, some presets built for um, uh, doing eyes here uh, red eye neutral eyes um, and I'll um, share those with you guys um, on a, uh, another time there or post them on the on the web for you guys to take down um, so I come up, back up here I drop my opacity if I can drop my opacity down to around 40 percent and this just a, does a great job of just taking a little bit of that red out of the eyes there And if I had time, I'd go in and we'd do some whitening of the eyes, but um, I'm starting to, trying to kind of show everybody what we're doing here. All right, now that uh, we've got some of that cleared out, we're uh, going to start with some eyeliner. So the first thing I'm always going to do is create a, um, a new layer for that. And we'll go to our brush tool and click over to our brushes. Um, and uh, again, you can find all these, all, you know, you can find a million brushes online. They're usually for free. So um, just go out there and kind of look at them. Um, so we'll, um, we'll pick an eyeshadow here. We'll just uh, maybe go with that one there. And um, nope, let me back off there. I didn't have the, I had the opacity set way down too low there. Um, I always have my history uh, history brush open there so that I can always back out there if I make a mistake. All right, let me get my opacity back up. There we go. Okay. Now we can um, drop that in. And, um, you know, it's always going to come in too big or something like that. So just control T that. You know, kind of get it down to roughly the size that you want. And um, normally what I would do, um, again, it, it just uh, takes, a, takes a little bit of time to do this, is then I would um, switch over to the warp tool and bend and twist this around to, uh, you know, whatever shape I need it to be in. All right, so we've got, uh, we've got some eyeshadow in, and this one looks pretty good at 100%. Some of them come in a little bit darker. You know, you can always adjust that to, to whatever, you, whatever you like. All right, and uh, we're ready now for eyeliner. So we'll create another layer for that. And over to brushes. Scroll down, we'll find a eyeliner here. Click on that. Control T. And just kind of work to, to uh, fit that in. Again, this is not perfect for what we're doing here, but just to kind of give you the idea. Um, some of this you, you're probably just gonna to wanna to race out. So I'm gonna just kind of take that, some of that out there just a little bit, because depending upon how it looks there, you know, it's kind of like, just a, just a kind of a personal taste there, okay. So we've got our um, eyeshadow in, we've got our eyeliner, and now we just wanna add some um, eyelashes here. So once again, going over here, creating a new layer. All right, and going back to our brush tool, we're gonna scroll down here, we're gonna find uh, some eyelashes.
Okay, there's uh, there's one. Click on that. And control T there. Bring that down to size there just a little bit more. Okay, well, that's, that's approximate. Now, certainly with the eyelashes, um, they're they're substantially too long. So come over here to your your uh, erase tool, and you'll just want to, you know, take those take those down a little bit because they're just way out of scale. Okay. And then even come back to your layers palette and just drop the opacity down just just a little bit there. Okay. All right, so that very quickly is uh, has how you um, uh, add uh, a little bit of makeup in uh, in Photoshop there. All right.